I want you to consider this one thought. This is actually a quote from Margaret Thatcher from England. She was Prime Minister of England some time ago. And her success is relevant to your success. Because remember, the quality of your th the quality of your thinking will determine the quality of your life. And that's not that's not a not a small statement. It's a profound statement. Um, I would certainly encourage you right now to write that down and actually write that down every day. Write it down many times. The quality of your thinking will always determine the quality of your life and the quality of your future. So she said this. She said, watch your thoughts for they will become your words. Watch your words for they will become your actions. To watch your actions because they will become your habits. And to watch your habits because they will create your character. And to watch your character because it creates your destiny. That what we think about, we become. Let me repeat that again. And I would encourage you to write, write it down. Write it down many times. Write it down over and over again. Memorize it. Learn it as if it were your own name, right? I'm not reading it. I'm actually quoting it uh, practically verbatim. So she said, watch your thoughts because they become your words. Watch your words for they will become your actions. Watch your actions for they will create your habits. They will form your habits. And to watch out for your habits because they will create your character. And again, watch out for your character or look to see, you know, observe your character. Be aware of your character because it will create your destiny. Because what we think about, we become. You get what you think about most of the time. Or you become what you think about most of the time. And again, this is no small statement. This is a profound statement because it gives a glimpse of how we work, of how we function, of how we create success or how we create failure. This is... Again, a profound statement with huge implications. It affects every facet of your life. Now, I mentioned before that if the quality of your thinking sucks, then most likely your life sucks. Now, many times, of course, we define success differently. Right? Whether we want more opulence in our lives, whether we want more money in our lives, better, loving relationships, you know, our health, whatever it is, right? Everyone defines success differently. Everybody wants something. And it differs from person to person. We are unique in our experience. But we are looking to create for that feeling of success where we have achieved a better situation to that that is causing us, you know, a measure of pain or suffering. With that being said, how important is it to watch your thoughts, to be aware of your words, the words that are coming out of your mouth? What are you saying about life, about yourself, about others? And again, what are your thoughts about yourself, about life, about others? 
And how do these thoughts combine with your words? How does it affect your actions? Your actions are essentially a reflection of your beliefs about life, about people, and about yourself. Your actions will determine the direction in which you are heading. If every day is looking good, it's looking great, everything's working out, um, your relationships are good, your money situation is good or getting better, then that shows, as a matter of fact, it reflects on your thoughts and the words that you use to express your beliefs about what you believe life is about, what you believe people are about, what you believe is your own personal truth. And this essentially self-hypnotizes you. It's, it's self-suggestion and it affects your life. This is how This is how we work. This is how it works. This is how life works. And we have to acknowledge that. We have to become aware of it. Now, for example, you may hear this and you may be, you know, agreeing to it and acknowledging it and saying, yes, this, this sounds good. This is true. This is, um, I can verify this. So-and-so said this. So-and-so who's um, a mentor or a coach or a successful entrepreneur or businessman, uh, they say these things and you can verify that for yourself. But there's a principle that says that, that sometimes we hear things, but then we leave and we go about our day, we go about our routine and we forget about it, right? This sounds good to you right now. It could be just a fix for you. But I'm here to tell you these words that I'm speaking to you right now, this statement, this concept will not reach your mind nor your heart if it's not something you think about most of the time. Because this is an awareness game. You have to be in the present moment. You have to be able to think about what you're thinking about. You have to be able to think about about what you're speaking about. You have to think about about your actions, your habits. What is your character? How are you perceived in front of others? This is important. This is imperative that you live this principle, that you make it a part of you, that you live this every day, that you implement it every single day, all day long, as much as you can. Now, obviously, this is a mental exercise. And at the beginning, it's going to be hard if you never have done this, if you have never thought about what you think about, if you have not been aware about the, the effects of your words in your life and how it influences your actions which creates again your character and your character again will determine your destiny or the way your life is gonna turn out every single day so it is so so important that if you could I would suggest that you play this audio over and over and over again Listen to it many times. Write down everything that you feel is worth your, your time, your energy to think about. Look up the quote by Mar Margaret Thatcher and read it. Don't read it just once. Read it many times. Think about what does she mean. Ask questions about why she came about to this conclusion. Why did she say this? ponder over these things this is important this is no no small uh, task it's not a simple thing 
people people will love to you know listen to gurus and coaches and and listen to all these lessons but how much of it do you retain how much of it do you, do you actually keep how much of it do you factually pra- you know put into practice make a part of you you know knowledge is not wisdom knowledge applied consistently and correctly is wisdom and through wisdom you make progress progress is determined by your ability to apply knowledge and what happens is that you apply knowledge and you fail persistently we're supposed to fail forward you know you you desire to accomplish something it's not going to happen overnight you have to keep trying and trying and getting better at it because if it's something you're trying to get good at you obviously understand and are aware that you're not good at it because you're not experiencing a good life or a good situation with whatever it is that you're trying to change and you need mental weapons mental shields you need to build your mind feed your mind with integrated knowledge meaning uh, information that it's at your mental fingertips information that you can recall that can combat negative thinking um, like for example if you know that your thoughts and your words and your actions and your habits and the quality of those concepts will determine the quality of your life then knowing the quilt verbatim you know if you memorize it every time you have a negative thought or a negative or you're speaking a negative sentence or word about yourself or someone else or about life you know or you see yourself taking negative action then the mental projection or the integrated thinking that you have developed about what margaret thatcher said this quote will help you battle those negative patterns and guess what you start to develop positive patterns so this is so important grab a piece of paper write this down if you can write down each word that i just said do that if you have the time and put it next to your bed and read it every night read it in the morning you know and this is this is general this is what i'm telling you right here it's so so important because knowledge we lose it if we are not applying it if we're not thinking about it if we're not consistently you know becoming a learning machine pretty much is what i'm trying to suggest here this is so important because if we want things in our life to change we have to change certain patterns of behavior that may not be working for you know our best interest so consider this thought very strongly and Every time you listen to one of my audios or if you are listening to my book um Blue, Blueprint for Immortality the Quantum Code for um the secret to success then you know learn its words um write down take take lots of notes and learn its lessons integrate them so you can use them in your everyday life now consider strongly that if you haven't already done so to you know add add my book to your collection of books if you haven't already done so so that you have a a ready product you know you have a tangible item that you can see and be reminded of because books out of sight are books out of mind and then therefore the content that's in it will never be in your mind you're not thinking about it you're not speaking about it you're not making it a part of you and therefore nothing will ever change so consider this other thought if you continue to do or if you continue to think how you have always thought or you continue to do what you have always done you are going to get you, you are going to get the same results nothing's going to change so I highly encourage you that you buy the book. 
you know, add it to your collection, put it on your nightstand or put it somewhere where you can see it so that what I'm talking about comes to mind so that you know you understand that you have to open the pages of the book uh, and whatever other books you have in your personal library that you purchase for you to integrate knowledge. Do the same thing. Become a learning machine. This is what every entrepreneur, every super successful person who has a mind-blowing lifestyle will tell you it's so important. is that you feed your mind, that you integrate knowledge and wisdom and understanding and statements of wisdom from people who have achieved a measure of success so that you apply in your own life. This is so, so important. If you miss this point, if you don't grasp this point, nothing is going to change. I, I guarantee it. If you don't, if you can't dedicate five, ten minutes to adding value to your mind, to your own personal life, you know, as simple as opening a book and reading its paragraphs and the words, if you can't dedicate that much time and energy, I would encourage you to give up. You, nothing's going to change. If you're not willing to put that much time and energy and effort, then I can guarantee my book is not for you. And you should just give up. Because if you want things in your life to change, it's going to take effort. It's going to take time. It's going to take energy. And if you're not even willing to put 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of your time and energy to read a book, then you're kidding yourself. Your goals and dreams are not going to be manifested because you are not building yourself up as a person. So please consider those thoughts. Really think about it. Uh, put a like uh, and then comment if you feel this is valuable. Let me know what you think.